So it's Groundhog Day again. I lost all of my footage from yesterday when I uh, tried to sync my iPhone to my, my new iPhone to my computer. It just sucked it all down. But I'm back here at Teach America, Teach, Teach for America, uh, to talk to um, Brittany again and get the lowdown on this sort of really cool nonprofit that exists to try to help place uh, college students with uh, low income school districts and make a difference. So I'm here with Brittany again. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Can you just uh, tell me briefly about uh, Teach for America? Yeah, um, in a nutshell, Teach for America is similar, I always compare it to like the Peace Corps, but domestic. So um, it's an organization that takes really highly qualified college graduates either who, who have either just recently graduated or were in the workforce for a few years, um, but ultimately like, display incredible leadership qualities um, to, so it recruits individuals like that and then um, puts them in the classroom for two years in a low income area. So they commit to two years of teaching um, and most of them don't have an education background, which is also something really unique about it. And the organization sets a foundation for them to help them kind of just become really effective teachers and make huge gains and put their kids on transformational paths within the year or two years that they um, spend with each student, with their classes of students. And you did this in Gallup, mm -hmm. New Mexico. I did it in Gallup, New Mexico. I grew up in New Mexico, went to New Mexico State, and when I heard about the program my junior year of college, I knew I wanted to do it. Um, and I just loved the idea of doing it in New Mexico, especially a, like a place in New Mexico that I hadn't ever experienced or knew very little about. So I went um, to Gallup. I taught preschool, pre-K, four-year-olds for two years at a public school. Um, it was really, really um, fascinating. I got to learn a lot about the Navajo culture, a lot about um, the realities of low-income areas and, and poverty, um, and also the ed reform movement and what um, what educational inequity actually looks like. And so from that work, I wanted to continue working in the ed reform movement, and so I was recruited to work on staff in Teach for America, so now I support teachers who are going through the two-year mm -hmm. um, commitment that I was just in. And what was the, uh, how did this uh, nonprofit begin again? Yeah, um, so the, the founder is, her name is Wendy Kopp. It was 21 years ago. She just was writing her thesis. Um, her college thesis and this was her idea and she wanted to create something that would put really effective teachers in classrooms that um, teachers didn't or people didn't want to be in or places where um, it was hard to recruit really effective teachers and um, give them a two-year commitment to really make some phenomenal growth and gains and outcomes with students and then it's progressed and now we have 42 43 regions and it's constantly increasing so and uh, it's actually relatively difficult to be chosen as one of the, the, the primary teachers, right? You said something like 34,000 applicants. Yeah, the, so I applied in 2009. Um, there were, I think there were 38,000 who applied or, or even more, um, and 4,000 were selected. So it's incredibly selective and it gets more and more selective each year as more and more people um, apply for the program. But um, it's because we, we know that in order to make significant gains with a classroom full of students and for people to really persevere through challenges and embody the leadership qualities that we'd want a teacher to have, they have to um, show a history of those skills and a history of success in those areas. So we look for the absolute best recruits for our organization.